Kit, and this is my camper van, Willie. In September last year, I joined the van life community in the UK, exploring the local woods, parks, rivers, and waterfalls in the nearby counties, and having a few hair-raising adventures along the way. In the previous episode, I failed to gain entry to the amusingly named Papplewick Pumping Station, although I had a look at the grounds. I visited Newstead Abbey, home of Lord Byron, and paid my respects at the tomb of his famous dog Boatswain, and I did a spot of birdwatching at the beautiful Attenborough Nature Reserve. Please subscribe to stay abreast of my ongoing van life journey. What have I done? What have I done? Um, where I'm parked doesn't feel idyllic, it feels, well, frankly, a little bit scary. So that's where I'm going to end the episode. If you want to find out if I survived the night, tune in to the next episode to see what happens next. <laughs> It's 4am, I've just made my bed and I'm now making some coffee and then I'm going to be starting my day early. So I'm in the car park of the Trent Lock pub. Um, I spent a successful night here. It turns out once all the vehicles have left and the pub crowd have subsided, it's actually a really quiet and peaceful park up. I haven't heard a sound. Although I imagine the pub didn't close until half eleven or something last night, I didn't notice any real noise, nothing woke me. Um, I woke naturally at 3.30am, made the bed, did a wee, made some coffee and here we are. Hello again. Well, it's now 5.53 a.m. Um, I had an enjoyable walk along the canal, um, had a look at the lock. Um, it was very moody and misty. Um, and I've just been sitting around for the last few minutes, figuring out where I'm going to go today. And I think I'm going to start off by driving to a place called Straw Bridge, um, which may or may not be interesting, uh, but it's quite close. It's about eight or nine miles away. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that uh, and then take it from there. Let's go.
Well, I've arrived at Strawbridge and it's lovely. Oh, I'm really, really glad I thought to try this place. I'm parked facing a pretty little lake or large pond. Um, there's mist on the water and there are swans and geese and ducks. It's absolutely lovely. It seems like a very idyllic park up. I'm going to go explore. driven to Critch Tramway Village, which I believe is some sort of um, authentic vintage village that uh, is unchanged since I don't know when, maybe Victorian, maybe World War II. I'll find out when I get there. And also, um, it seems to be centred all around trams. Uh, some sort of tram museum? Is that a thing that people are interested in? Personally, I can't think of anything more boring than a bunch of trams. Um, I have to pay to get in, not happy about that, um, so it had better bloody be worth it. Um, and also, apparently it doesn't open until 10, and it's now 8.30, uh, so I've got a bit of a wait. Um, can I park anywhere? Are you just coming to the village? Yes. Oh, I saw you put the open sign on, so yeah, I thought that... Just we have to Do I need to leave then, or can I just park up and sit tight for a bit? So I'm just waiting to go inside the uh, tramway, tram village, 
tram museum. Anyway, I'm just waiting for it to open and it's occurred to me that I'm wearing socks and sandals and that's never a good look. I might take this opportunity to fix that. This is all very interesting and exciting. I'm just trying to figure out which is my stop. Go upstairs? Yeah. Thank you. Even on a vintage tram, there's an obnoxious yuppie with a mobile phone. I'd like for those who are on this side, the left side, to get up and change their seats over like this so they're facing this way for the return. So you're going to stop at Wakebridge anyway? Yes. Yeah. 
and we'll stop at this stop up ahead if okay. anyone wants yeah. to crack start. Okay. Standing in the village printers and I can actually smell the ancient ink and machine oil I guess. It's a smell that I've smelled before and it makes me think of my granddad.
So I've just been to the Critch Tramway, which is a tramway and also a museum, I guess. It's a walking about, experiencing kind of museum. I had a lovely time at Critch Tramway. I think I've pretty much seen everything I want to see. But anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, and if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe, like, share, do all the good stuff, and I will see you next time. See you later.